We've been in like sync the past couple days. Like I noticed there was a couple moments where like you and I said the exact same thing at the exact same time. Even like the oh I mm, like the pauses and yeah. everything. And we were sitting on the couch and literally no one noticed it. And I was like, I wonder if that's just me being invisible to the rest of them and just hearing you, <laughs> or if it's just they're so used to it that um, it doesn't even phase them anymore that we're so in sync. I think it's also because when everybody was here, it was like 13 people in the living room. Yeah. Um, and it's easy for me to steal the show because my big boobs. Mm -hmm, the, like the when knockers. I walk in the room, they usually, they like perk up a little bit like magnets and they start like connecting. It's really, people. really crazy. It's yeah, like it's... cybernetic almost. It's like cyborg. Um, Looking at you, I just realized I had a dream where we got into a huge fight and it was God. like gnarly. And it was like, uh, but it was like, we like barked at each other like pretty crazy and then walked away and orion was here and she came up to me and she was like oh my god and i was like it'll fucking uh, leave it alone and i was just like <laughs> that's literally it. how it is it's i was like, like it'll just fucking we'll talk to each other later yeah, i don't want to do that whatever <laughs> well so my family back in texas they found a photo box that we haven't gone through in probably 15 years we all thought it got thrown away um, and there were a few photos of me as an infant in there that I haven't seen yet. And I know I've already showed you infant photos of me, but this one is especially awful and terrible and disgusting and nasty. And I, it genuinely convinced me even further that I was switched at birth because this isn't me. Like <laughs> this is a baby that was born. And then three minutes later, I came into the picture because this does not look like me at all. I think I've already showed you, but um, no, this one's really fucked up. <laughs> like, I why is switched at birth, <laughs> and it's this? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Dude, well, you my look, skin is you like patchy. Look like you lived through Chernobyl. No, I look like the cover of Come and See. Insert that picture for the girls that haven't seen it. This um, is so. Why are your Why is your mouth like that? I don't know. You look like swollen. Where you look are like my your freckles? Mom, like, Put a hot pan on your like. I know. I look like a burn on your victim. Face. Sorry, I look like a burn victim. Yeah, it's crazy. It looks like your mom was really into sleeping with the blow dryer next to her, and then you rolled over. <laughs> well, that's right literally my like... dad. Wait, my let dad. Me see it again. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, you look like a little piece of beef jerky. Yeah, you look really gross, dude. You, uh, you face just, card decline. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> that made me crack up. I was like saying that about an infant is so funny. Like the face card literally declined. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> um, but yeah, I was switched at birth. It's a fish hair fun. It's always been like a theory of mine and Madeline's that like, okay, we don't look like either of our parents, like. Sure, there's some similar features, but, like, it's not enough to convince me that they are fully my parents. Like, I love them like my parents enough I, when I find out that they aren't my genetic parents or whatever the fuck, biological parents, um, I will still love them the same because they raised me to be the person I am, but I am convinced that they're not my parents. I, you, I think you look like your mom, but also... Nah, I think you look like your mom. Maybe not your dad. Mm -mm. Your dad was pretty random. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's random core as fuck. He's super random core. He was like generated. Maybe my mom cheated on my father. Yeah, and you Let's just talk you about have that. a different dad. Well, something. Madeline looks like my dad. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, Madeline has my dad's nose. I have my mom's nose. But where are the freckles? Let's talk about it. Where are the moles? Does your mom have freckles? No, I mean, oh, where I, well, are the I moles? Think those, well, you just have skin cancer. So yeah, yeah, I forgot about those that. Those grow. Those grow over time. You're just lucky. Yeah, You're one I, of the lucky ones. I forgot about that. Um. Well, I don't think I look like my parents, but then sometimes I see... I looked... When I was... 14 i looked like my dad exactly like my dad when he was 14 mm -hmm. like because he just had like we had the same facial structure and i don't know why but we just looked like i looked like my dad did from 14 to 20 when i was like 14 to 16 or 17 and then maybe i started looking a little more like my mom but i don't feel like i look like my mom i feel i feel like i look more like my dad like i share more features with him but i don't know Wolf. Something is serious. Dude, y'all were ugly ass fucking babies, dude. You were disgusting. 
<laughs> like <laughs> I look like I'm melting, bro. You know, this also like confirmed for me that like my lopsided face, which I'm so insecure about. So if any one of y'all comment that about my lopsided face, it goes straight to my heart like a fucking dagger and I die and I want to die. Um isn't from like sleeping on the side of my body. It's from like the womb and the way my face formed. Like no, you, know, you don't have I've... a lopsided face. Yes, I do. Look at that. No, it's the angle. You're just like crumbly. Like why are you grumbling? No, you. Even... Oh, look at my. <laughs> oh hell no, bitch. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I know we had serious blood flow issues. Like something was seriously wrong. <laughs> like it, it's really Dude, off. Dude, what? It's crazy because it's not like y'all, like, whoa, she was fully missing pigment in, like, so much of her body. I mean, it is, like, we did share a womb for 12 months or nine months. Does so, that happen like, to twins? Because I've seen cute twin photos. I don't... I don't mean, we got like cute. This. Like, look, they sent me a photo where we eventually, like, got cute. But this is just another lopsided photo whoa. of my face. Um, but we eventually <laughs> got cute. <laughs> like you're melting yeah it's really really jarring and you know what's awesome is your mom thought y'all were beautiful so it doesn't matter i know that's the only thing that matters is my mom i'm really bad with that like i won't like i i would never go up to somebody's baby and be like you have an ugly baby until they're grown up and maybe like not so ugly because then you could like call a baby photo of someone you love ugly because they're not ugly anymore if you but can't fix it in five seconds don't, don't say, say it, it. But I won't be calling your baby beautiful if you have an ugly baby. Like, mm -hmm. I've met babies that I find really repulsive and nasty. And I'm just like... Mm. I'd be like, oh. Oh, my God. She's... Oh, you wow. have a baby. Wow. Mm -hmm. You did that. That's what I say. I say, Sis, oh, you... Oh, you ate. You snapped. Sis, yeah, you the face card is not declining. <laughs> um, well, I've been... I don't know if this is um, a universal experience for everyone else, but I've been on Irish Chinese food TikTok, um, and it's the craziest, most Can you diabolical. show that to me? Because is it just Chinese food, or did they, like, do something, like, Oh, it's, it's not. Like, I know, like, Americans aren't, probably aren't doing Chinese food right, but they are a hundred percent, a hundred percent doing it wrong because like the <laughs> they like it's like gray matter. It's like fucking brain matter in gray, and like they pile it all onto a plate and then pour like disgusting curry gravy and sweet and sour sauce all over it and make it into this like m literal mound of like rice. And apparently, like there's no seasoning on it because they're all fucking white, and so they have to like adapt to them to sell. Like it's sad, but like. There's no seasoning. There's it's gray food. It's like they, a if they pile. got some red forty in there, you would look at it a little bit. Oh, different. bitch, I would eat the fuck out of it. Yeah. I mean, there is some red forty, and that's the only thing that I thought like Looked might appetizing. be good. Um, but they also say, "I got a Chinese." Like they captured someone. Like they're always <laughs> like, "I got a Chinese food." Like that's how they say it when they introduce their fucking um food do uh, does ireland have like a a language of its own or is it just english just weird ass english like celtic celtic I think girl that's... no that's the skirts they wear no celtic is i thought language. celtic was the language a kilt is i was the making skirt. a joke uh, uh, <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> that went over my I'm, head yeah i'm just such a dumb girl y'all thought i was serious well yeah 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 i'm sorry i'm looking for the irish food tiktok um, well, my favorite, uh, memory of, like, the first, because do y'all remember the first time you had certain foods, or no? I remember the first time I actually was able to eat Chuck E. Cheese, no, no, uh, CeCe's Pizza. <laughs> well, I remember the first time I, like, saw somebody with, like, Chinese food, and I really wanted it, and it was in my daycare, and I was friends with the daughters of the people who ran the daycare, did anyone order a Chinese? Got a Chinese tonight. I've been craving a Chinese for so long and I thought we could dish it up together. Got two curries and a sweet and sour because I can't just have one sauce and egg fried rice. What is your go-to Chinese order? Okay, it's not looking too uh, bad so far. Was that somebody <laughs> eating her ass up? But look, they pile it all on the plate. Oh my fucking God. And then they pour everything all over it. It's really shocking. Put sweet and sour on first. Stunning. And curry sauce. Oh my god. I am so excited. And then some crispy seaweed. Oh my god, it's so good. 
Is that seaweed and she called it cabbage? Why did she do that? Do they like prepare it like that? They all prepare it like that. Every video I've seen on TikTok has been prepared like that. I could not survive in the UK. Okay, yeah. What in the, what in the world is seaweed cabbage? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, that's just seaweed. Yeah. Also, um, that meme where it's like, why do people in Europe still eat like their like Russian bomber spy planes like <laughs> flying overhead, dropping bombs? Like they're eating like their beans and toast and. Okay, I will give it to the UK. Beans and toast is late, and I think I've said that before. Like. But beans, like the English breakfast, that is a fire breakfast to me. Like, mm. and to me, that's like, uh, if, maybe if it was black beans. Except for even, the one we got in New York. That, yeah, was, that was the, the most, most disgusting diabolical thing, ever. thing I've ever put in my body. It was rancid and horrific. <laughs> but I can get with some beans and toast. Like, I love refried beans on toast. Try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Mm. It tastes actually so good. It's like dehydrated Nutella without the sweetness, mm. but it's that kind of texture. It's what really were you good. saying about the first food you tried or something? Oh, the first time I saw somebody eating Chinese food and I was like, damn, I really, really want that because my family wasn't like, actually, that's a lie. We did have a spot that we always ordered from. Chinese my mom was buffets obsessed. are a classic. Yeah, there was a Chinese buffet we went to a lot, but there was a spot we usually ordered from. But the first time I actually saw it and wanted it, even though my family would eat it often, was at daycare because I was friends with the daughters of the people who ran the daycare. And during nap time, the daughters like got up and left. And I was like, where are y'all going? Like, where is everybody going? And then I heard them talking to their mom and they were like, I heard bags and things coming out of bags. And I was like, oh my God. And then I started to smell the food and I was like, fuck, I really want food. So then I acted like I woke up from a nap and I was like, can I use the bathroom? Like I woke up and I was like, can I use the bathroom? And they were like, okay, yeah. And I went and used the bathroom. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep again. I'm so hungry. <laughs> and then um, she was like, okay, fine. Do you want some food? I was like, yes, please, please. And then they gave me food. And then the daughter taught me Chinese. that she, yeah, I got a Chinese. And then she, the daughter taught me that you, like she would put like duck sauce and soy sauce in her fried rice. And then I tried it and I remember like that was also the first time as a kid, like somebody showed me the way they would eat their favorite thing. And mm. I was like, whoa, this changes everything. And I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I remember that. And her name was Jade, the girl who... Gave me, she was actually a set of twins and they were really cute. So what's your excuse? Mm, I'm white. Oh, yeah. That, that actually yeah. literally might be white it. White babies are vile when they're born. <laughs> like, really. Look at any white baby, infant baby. I, um, was, I was really cute. I don't believe that for a split second. Throw, actually, I want to see you as a baby. A Can picture. you get it? I could find one right now. Yeah, I want to see it. Um. Well, I decided that I never need to see a man's toes ever again. Like seeing like something about seeing a man's toes is so nasty and like fucking rancid and I literally can't see it and be like, "Oh, this is like um man's like legs." Like ew, even a man's legs. Like if there's a man who I've only seen in jeans and pants and the first time I see his legs, I'm literally so Well, confused. I don't want to see your feet either. That's funny because every time I have them out in the house, you take pictures. And that's why I have to wear slippers in the house. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do take pictures of your feet. And I don't think that's a problem because I'm just keeping tabs. And I and I tell you, you know, I tell you, I'm like, <laughs> you need to get a pedicure soon. Like the freaks are going to like eat that up. Like seeing random people's feet like is it's horrifying. So wrong. Like, it's it's really like seeing like a penis. Like no, your, it is literally penis. the equivalent. Also, yeah, men's toes those. are so nasty. Like they are literally <laughs> like, why are they like velociraptor? Like, yeah, it looks like men when they walk in their shoes, like. It's like that. Like Twinkie men. Like Twinkie yes, feet like skinny, are crazy. Skinny men's feet are really, really scary. Yeah. Like, but it makes Put some sense. meat on those bones. <laughs> no, literally. It's so Chicken scary. Chicken claws. And then just like seeing like I hate like men's thigh hair because it's like so like white girl, you need to get like, I don't know what needs to happen, mm. but there needs to be conditioner and it needs to be like That's what down. I say to women too. I'm like, cut all your fucking hair off your nasty body, all that nasty hair. I actually hair. do think men should like <laughs> cater to their leg hair because some men's leg hair i'm like whoa you have no business i'm proud like, you're of pretty, my no leg yours hair. is pretty like yours isn't too crazy but yeah. there are some men 
whose leg hair was really nasty. I'm just honestly evening out the playing field. Like, men should start have to take care of their feet because women are expected to. But also, women's feet in general are just prettier. Like, men have nasty feet, women have pretty feet. And that's just the way God did it. And it's because men were supposed to, like, dig their toes into the dirt so that they are, like, stable enough to, like, swing their and ass. And grow their nails And women were supposed to have pretty trees. feet to stand in the kitchen. Yeah. So, like, that's just the way it was made. Oh, yeah. I actually agree with you on that one and that women should shave their bodies. Yeah. Oh. Period. <laughs> Period. What are you laughing at? Did you find a picture of yourself? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I found a couple. They're also, disgusting. Also, before we no, get no, to no, that, I want to say this before it leaves my brain, but when I clip my fingernails and toenails, like, there's something to it where, like, there's like epigenetic memories inside of my fingernails or some shit because like I when I cut them, no, 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 no. When I cut them, I feel 10% weaker. Like I feel <laughs> like there's something serious about nails. Like they are made to climb trees and make you feel stronger. And like when I cut them. But I don't think human them, nails were ever strong enough to like give you grip like that. I know, but I'm just saying like it, there's something to it maybe in like the past. Like <laughs> I memorized you know, it. There's something to it. <laughs> 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 like you were, I was supposed to be like climbing trees. <laughs> There's like something to it. <laughs> um well I'm gonna climb your tree tonight. Yeah, you are. No. Yeah, you are. Alright, I wanna see Kai. Okay, there was another one. Are you sending it to us? So um, we don't have to stand up. I'll, yeah, I'll send it to you guys. So this is like a baby. Dude, the one of Drew is so crazy. Crazy lit. Okay. So I think I was like six in that. Oh, um, Kai, that's just a picture of you in face up. What? That's just you from face up. You were you're trying to convince me that you're six years old here? <laughs> Bro, why did you take a picture of your whole thing and then you have eight million pictures of yourself down there? <laughs> it's like one of those things where you change from a lizard to like a human being. What are those called? <laughs> Also, you know what's crazy okay, is this like is, this is a real one. This used to be technology that was literally only kept behind doors for like missing people, and now we just have it on our iPhone. Face up. Wait, is that actually you? Yeah. Oh, you were guy. really cute. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Look at your little nose. You look like a little girl. Oh, a little sweet boy. That's a cute baby. Yeah. All right. Kai and Daddy. That's what they say about us. <laughs> Kai and Daddy. I'm Daddy. Hello. <laughs> I'm actually so jealous of people who are as old as you and had video cameras as kids. <laughs> VHS like camera, it's like iconic. <laughs> or no, because you know what it is? It actually is crazy because I feel like when we were the growing up, digital cameras were like the new thing. Like in like the really early 2000s, people would switch. Like I have a bunch of pictures of us like as kids from film cameras like my family was a big disposable camera but uh, then, they were like ahead of the fucking curve no with that they shit. just like, thought everybody's it was cheaper to have their... a disposable camera instead of just buying a fucking no, film camera they're just like trendsetters like they yeah. like they started using film cameras early on and like now everybody wants i know to everybody wants camera. a piece of what my family created yeah it's crazy like us starting kodak was like a really big risk but i'm really glad we did it because now we're like so well i know they're like rich and shit um but like i feel like we were growing up like right when digital cameras were becoming accessible to families they were still really expensive to have a digital camera i saw this thing the other day that like one of those older tvs like the box ones was two thousand dollars when they first started rolling out which is fucking insane oh like the big screen ones yeah oh yeah. like a 27 inch like fucking like box ass mm -hmm. tv like the cr tvs were like two thousand dollars but i looked it up and like digital cameras that now are like fucking 30 bucks were literally like 700 dollars. Mm -hmm. so it was still like a big feat to have one but my family finally got one in like 2006 but then from then on i don't even there's like this huge gap of photos because my family i think was like so much more into using like film cameras than digital cameras so like the ones they got they never really used and there were only two tapes that I've found for my household. And they were like for my family's work. Like my dad remodels homes and he had like before and after videos of like the homes he had done to show to clients. Mm. But we like didn't have, I have no videos of me talking before 14. 
My like brothers, um, they got like a mini DV uh, camera for Christmas one year. And the only videos I have of me talking from that age are like me cussing because they thought it was hilarious and they would just make me cuss and then them beating the shit out of me and then them forcing me and Madeline to do like jackass stunts and like <laughs> rolling us down hills and shit in cars. And I'm going to ask them for that footage because they still have it all and that would be like really funny just to like... To watch. Yeah. I literally get like a pain of envy when I see videos of people when they were younger. But yeah. I feel like people who were born in like... 96 and before usually are more likely to have like a plethora of videos because in the mid 90s is when it became also yeah, super mid-90s accessible by seth rogan like hill <laughs> by seth is that the name hill. of the movie mid 90s by rogan hill by rogan hill yeah you nailed that drew wait is that actually the name of that movie it's called mid 90s yeah. but true schizophrenic and it's no it rogan hill, hill. You said Rogan Hill, right? Yes. Yeah, by Rogan Hill. Jonah Hill. Kai, I Who? think you're the schizophrenic one. I know, yeah. It's Rogan no, Hill. I don't... And Oh, oh he... Roman Hill. Oh, no, it is no, Roman Hill. No, that's more wrong. That's okay, more yeah. wrong. Yeah. Because there's Roman Hill and then there's Seth Rogan. That's why we keep getting a message. No, yeah. you guys are super wrong. Because Seth super Rogan wrong. makes the weed stuff. Rogan Hill is the director. Dude, the mid-90s of skateboarding no. content. There's literally yeah. no hope for you guys with this the craziest stuff. thing about roman hill was he was a youtuber <laughs> a skateboarder youtuber and he also had cameras yeah and he always liked them so much that he was like this should be my job mm-hmm. yeah that's what i was thinking too but it, it became like a i think it was more common for people to have it also if you had older siblings like all my homies with like a big age gap between their other siblings usually have videos of themselves because they had like some older sibling who was like a teenager when they were young yeah, who got the family camera and was like bored and was like i'm my, gonna fucking film people my younger i mean my older brothers and sisters they all have like an insane amount of footage of them when they were a kid and an insane amount of photos and then when it got to me and madeline they were just like okay like what are we gonna do with these photos i mean we know why they didn't want to take yeah photos. my father want, loved me i swear i wouldn't want photo documentation of y'all until you got like normal looking yeah either. no for sure two old jelly beans. i was a really cute baby <laughs> these crispy jelly beans I there's was a, a cute baby. there's an old video of me when, as a baby and like my dad comes into the kitchen and i'm sitting on the counter and i'm covered in peanut butter and i'm like uh <laughs> It's really cute. That's not you. There's no the way. The viral peanut butter baby is you? That would make sense because you're like, what, 50 now? I'm that's like 50. actually fucking amazing, yeah, Kai. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, if, I guess I just never told you guys that. Yeah, it, it'd be cool if you like were able to monetize that, but now you're just like 50 and you're like <laughs> I'm here. I'm not 50. It's weird. He's 48. Okay, yeah. I'm but close, I just round up with people's age. Um. Well, I'm going <laughs> to transition the conversation. Okay. And um, I'm going to say some things out loud, and I want to get your reaction. I really have to poop. Bindaroos. Is that a candy or something? That's like, I know what that is. Yeah. Zoo books. Yeah. Slushy magic. Is that that thing that you squished? That you fucked, yeah. That's, I, it was the huh? first pocket oh. pussy I ever had. Like, it was lit. <laughs> Whoa. I lost my virginity. I to guess the that's a really magic. good one because you can do it however <laughs> mm-hmm. fits your means. And Wait. you you probably still use it, but you have to squish it like this. No, that shit was this like small, rotten. Maybe. No, that shit got rotten quick. Which like is I like. Had to throw that out. You know what I was thinking? I was like, what if I just one episode had my vibrator hanging here and charging? <laughs> like and on... buzzing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to. But Benderoos are like a to- like these are all like uh, TV like ads of toys that yeah like, I remember are like something about it is purple but Benderoos? yeah uh, no they're like the, the little like they're almost like pipe cleaners but they're made out of like wax and metal and you like can form them oh I'm thinking of there was like a kangaroo like a cereal with a kangaroo as the mascot this is um, Benderoo. Actually, I've never seen that in my life. Whoa. Really? I've never seen you in my life. Yeah, but I'm thinking of Kwangaroos. I've never heard of that either. What is this from? Um, But yeah, lost my virginity to (laughs) a slushy magic. We'll insert a photo of all three of those when they go down. Or when I say them. 
When it goes down for real. This guy. Oh, Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos. That is what I'm thinking of. Dungaroos. Um, okay, well, let's transition the conversation again um, and talk about the absolute chokehold Sanrio has on the girls. It's crazy. You know what's awesome is uh, Sanrio was just a small gift shop that was originally selling a lot of Snoopy stuff. So it was like a small gift shop that this man had owned. And then... He, I think he started like licensing out Snoopy products because like getting licenses to make Snoopy products because he realized after a f- having a few Snoopy items in the store that those were like flying off the shelf. And then he was just like for a while getting licenses from the Snoopy, like whoever owns Snoopy to make a few products. But then after a while of him becoming like a store that people would come for Snoopy stuff, he was just like, dude, I need to make my own character because I could be like creating a whole new franchise instead of just like giving money to this franchise and then they made hello kitty and also uh when they made the hello kitty cartoon he was so against um hello kitty having a mouth and that was like a big issue that he was like she shouldn't have a mouth she's never had a mouth why would she have a mouth and then she would argue because yeah it seems like oh my god wow i didn't even think about it like that there's like a meaning behind that yeah yeah did you know that hello kitty is from london London bitch, no. yeah. Because uh, oh, I fucking young I'm nice Japanese like girls were really infatuated in that time, like with London, and they were all like, "We really want to go to London. Like that's like the spot." When was it made? What years? Um, in like seventy. Actually, maybe even before. Hello Kitty's like actually old as bones. Yeah, London was like the it town for a while, and then it became New York and Paris, and now it's L.A. Like, cause we're here. Oh no, nineteen seventy four. Oh my god, she's like 50. She's fucking haggardy. She's yeah. gotta quit it. Damn, she doesn't Hi. age you at all. You gotta start. I'm not oh, yeah, 50. This was the first thing they made was this uh, they made like a little pocket book. A pocket and what? It, a little coin what pocket mean? thing. Oh, oh okay. A little coin wait, pouch. Wait, what were you insinuating? I know. What were you trying to say? A pocket pussy? pussy? I don't say that word. Oh my god. I would never say that word. <laughs> You're my. Can I use you like a pocket ussy? Is she gussy my... Someone told me that saying <laughs> ussy is worse than saying pussy, but I don't think that. Ussie. No, the P Ussie. word is literally scary. I love saying ussy. That's my new thing, is saying ussy instead of pussy. Because pussy is a lot. This episode is sponsored by ZocDoc. All right, well, it's time for me to be overly open about what I've been up to with my health. It's not even that deep, but recently I've been thinking about getting LASIK eye surgery and I was really scared because I don't want to put my eyes in the hands of some freakazoid that I just find on the internet and I don't know if they're a good doctor and I don't know if anybody else on the planet has ever seen them because there's no way for me to see reviews or see like if they even take other appointments. Are they the killer? Are they going to take my eyes instead of fix my eyes? So I decided to switch and look through ZocDoc to find somebody to take care of my eyes and just honestly to get my overall checkups going it's time for me to head back to the dentist which I did also find via ZocDoc because I am just that kind of adult who was never taught how to look through a phone book question mark for a doctor I don't know how you're supposed to find a doctor without an app like ZocDoc there's nothing worse than going to a doctor's appointment expecting to be the center of attention and then your doctor seems like they have better things to do and better places to be on ZocDoc you'll find quality doctors who focus on you listen to you and prioritize your care ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. Surprise twists might work for podcasts, but maybe not for medical care. With ZocDoc, there are no alarms and no surprises. Choose from thousands of patient reviewed doctors and specialists. Browse doctor profiles, upload and verify your insurance information and get the care you need. Go to ZocDoc.com slash intercom and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash intercom. ZocDoc.com slash intercom. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So, I'm a loner. I'm a loser. I don't do much with other people. I don't spend much time with other people. I'm uh, pretty much a lone wolf in this life. I love being alone. Um, But on the other hand, when I do spend time with people, I do far too much for them. And it is a bad, 
bad situation to be in where I don't spend enough time for myself, but I give too much of myself to other people. It's so easy to get caught up in what everybody else needs. And when you never take a moment for yourself to think about what you need, it can be very dangerous and it's a vicious cycle to get caught up in. With BetterHelp, you can learn positive coping behaviors. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. BetterHelp is helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It can help you balance your relationships and give you some time to think about yourself for a moment instead of thinking about other people all the time. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you do is fill out a brief questionnaire and then you're matched with the perfect therapist for you. The great thing is if you and your therapist aren't a match, you can switch at any time time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. My, my new thing is saying the house. Like, I'll just say like, oh, th that camera is the house or like, hello kitty, the mean, house. Though? It's just something me and my friends made up and that we like say to each other. Oh, okay. But like, can you like this oh, that room headband is the, is the house no 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 it's not referring to the house like in the house it's just the house mm, okay i'll try to implement that but yeah. it seems a bit confusing and hard to get it yeah i mean we did make it up <laughs> me and my friends made it up can um, i try mm -hmm. my penis is the house yeah that works <laughs> He sounded so sincere. The, this is the most sun that's ever come into this room while we've ever been filming. Yeah, it's it's only light. on you. <laughs> I know. Wait, why am I Mr. Brightside low key? Wait, <laughs> like, I literally am Mr. Mr. Brightside. Bright yeah. Um, okay, well, well, let's transition again because I have so many notes. <laughs> you need to stop saying let's transition. You can just start a new sentence. What? <laughs> Why is that bad? Thought. Why is that bad? No, no, leave it all in. Why is this bad? No, because it's fucking weird in a conversation. <laughs> Imagine we were just talking and I'm like, all right, so let's transition to the next topic. <laughs> like, saying so that in conversation funny. is so She's unnatural. Right. She's right. It's literally Every time like... you said it, it would like snap me out of like reality. I know, it literally like makes it feel like we're following like i don't know like it makes me scared you saying that well okay <laughs> i'm actively trying to be beat the uh drew print allegations and it's really hard for me um, it's, it's really hard print. for me actually because i don't want to be the drew print but like it just is forced onto me and well it's because me. like it's hard to look at you and not want to be you because you're so gorgeous but are you naturally gorgeous or have you had work done uh, absolutely not. Oh, you say Never like there's something wrong with getting work done. There's nothing wrong with that. I would I'm literally never get just asking. Shit pushed into my face, man. That shit's bullshit. I mean, more power to you if you get it done. Like I'm happy for you, but like <laughs> you sound really condescending about it, though. Yeah. Like Drew Print is that like when it presses up against the, the sweatpants? Gray sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the gray sweatpant challenge. You don't play that enough. Like, I missed that in the house. No, the thing is, is I'm not <laughs> off this transition to conversation because, like, I'm making this fucking conversation flow by saying that because it would just be silent if I wasn't no, bringing it, these it, topics it would pick in here. No, you, <laughs> it would not. It would You're be silent. It would you be can, You can bring the topics, but just, like, in normal conversation saying... All right, so let's transition. Well, this isn't a you normal conversation. You've never done that. You've never done that, so it's like so confusing for to like hear you do that. No, this but, is bullshit. I'm being attacked for doing my job. Well, good. since Drew has been sober now in the friend group, he's the Drewber. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to call Uber. We have Drewber. Yeah, I like Uber them around. Yeah, it's and really I made cool. that up, and it was awesome when I did. And like everybody picked me up on a chair and like took me down the streets like a little parade, and then I got dropped off at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice, and I. Oh, am... your parade is coming up. Which Wait, one? is that is that June? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, your parade. Oh, 1st. a month away. Wait, yes, what? Our no, your month. The the whole month for you is coming up. Let's go. Are you gonna celebrate? Hispanic Heritage Month. No, you're you're not. You are not. Oh, Hispanic. they have a whole month for me. That pair like work. That's no, not no, you are work. not. Like... True, that's not the one. That <laughs> yeah, we that's were not the one. It's, referencing. It's you know you go into Target and you know that's special month. time. 
No, we need a week not. for veterans, bro. I'm, I swear to God, like Wait, not we, even a month for them. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no, I swear, like this is crazy. Um, no, it's that special time of year when you walk into Target and you feel something is happening, and it's because there's so many nice decorations for you. Pride merch month. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is right yeah yeah it's when all the companies get to get together and make more money than they've ever made all year (laughs) yeah it's really interesting actually me and drew decided we're gonna drop pride merch oh yeah yeah emergency allies yeah emergency intercom um merch and we're gonna say we're gonna donate it but But we're we're actually gonna keep it super smart well because they're for we're making the merch for allies so it's just gonna say like I'm not gay, but I know some people who are. <laughs> I'm um, not gay, but I like kind of support the cause or yeah. whatever. Like That's I'm sick. not gay, so don't ever mistake me for that in terms of like my support. The lifestyle. But I'm okay with you guys. Um for now. Dude, one time I was with Drew and we ordered an Uber. He opened the app and he saw that the line was rainbow. <laughs> and Drew said I'm not getting in that car. I literally like wasn't going to get in. This is crazy. I stopped using Uber that day. Yeah. Because why did they do that? Well, Mm -hmm. well, you could have seen it like Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. What if it was just a a Mario movie? Drew walked out of Mario movie when that scene came Mm -hmm. on. It's never that. Never that. (laughs) Never that. Well, yeah, your month is coming. So we're going to do something special for, for Drew. Yep. Fuck, I had something to say. I like literally completely forgot. What if I literally got everybody to like bombard and harass you all month? That would be (laughs) fucked up. Like No, I would eat that up. What are you talking about? I would literally love that. That's like my dream is to be bombarded. (laughs) Any kind of attention. Yes. Like that's literally my favorite time of the year. Sometimes my scabs are like like right here is a piece of skin where when I get like a cut or something, my body will make too much skin on top of a scab. And then sometimes randomly it starts itching. And I think it's literally my body like, that's you a need wart, to get babe. rid of this. Oh, at least it's not where it used to be, though, because I used to get a lot of warts on your genitals. Yeah. And it would like honestly bother me because my underwear would scratch up against it. So it would just be bleeding mm, all the time. So I felt like I had like a 24 seven period, but it was just my warts popping mm. from my tight underwear. That does like suck. <laughs> um, well, I'm entering my Karen arc. I oh, decided, are you going to start yelling at people? Yeah, like when people fuck up my order after an eight-hour shift and I go in 13 minutes before closing. <laughs> like, I am just the exact same customer that came in here when it was four hours before closing. Like, you better treat me with respect. That's what I'm saying. And I want fresh. I want fresh ingredients. Yeah, turn the fryers back on. I don't give a fuck. Turn on the stove. Yeah. Start back up the espresso machine. <laughs> I actually do have a big pet Like, what am I paying you for? <laughs> you know like what's the fucking point i know like i'm gonna start just leaving no tips that's kind of my vibe it's like that's not my duty like i don't need to give you a tip like right. hello i'm so with you on that yeah i'm so with you, you might on be that. ahead of me on that because you haven't tipped for what five years now seven yeah oh wow that's a good streak mm-hmm. seven. okay seven years sober of, yeah. just, of tipping of yeah, tipping I'm service sober. workers Oh, but me, I, I'm kidding, guys. I like tip so much. Sometimes I just tip a hundred percent. Yeah, no, it's it's unironically like I over tip because I feel I so bad. I get really oh, nervous. Wait, actually, like, I, I literally get so uncomfortable. Last and I'm just night, like... last night, I texted Enya at like one, and I was like, I really have to do this, and I know this is disgusting, but I literally have to do this, and I ordered hot Cheetos. Oh, where are they? Did you fuck one... them up like that? No, they're in my bed. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I ordered hot Cheetos at 1 a.m., um, and I felt so bad because the only stores that were open were the ones where you have to like go and collect it yourself, like the Uber driver does, and so I felt so bad, so I like texted him like before he even, ex- or right after he accepted, before he even got to Walgreens, and I was like, Thank you so much. And we had just like a nice conversation. And I think it low-key was a little flirty. And I said, leave it at the door. And he made me come and get it from him at the door, which I thought was like crazy. Um, But also my picture on... um, Uber Eats. Uber Eats is of like the cutest little baby monkey ever. Let me show you. He's really cute. Oh, so he was flirting with an animal. So it was a guy who was into BCL. Dark turn. I know. Um, But look at the little guy. Because Why does Uber let you use not a photo of yourself? I know, it's kind of like, dangerous. How do they find you when you call an Uber? Um, but he... He's looking for a monkey with a suitcase. I am looking for the cutest little monkey with a banjo. <laughs> yeah. It felt... I felt so bad making him do that at 1 a.m. that I literally tipped him $14, <laughs> which is fucking crazy for a bag of hot chips. 
<laughs> like so how was your 30 bag of po- dollar bag of hot chips was uh, it worth it no because i literally laid in that bed eating them and i was like am i getting covid right now because i literally can't taste these <laughs> they were under seasoned like it was crazy i want to try them no oh, okay they're mine well i hope you have covid bitch sorry my total was 14 dollars I misspoke. I just wanted to set the record straight. Um, Seven twenty-three. So, oh, that's how much you tipped. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I guess Drew like, tips me way more than that with my tip. Well, that's because if you're doing a sexual act, I would hope you're asking for more than seven dollars. Kai, where's your self-respect? Yeah, I pay Kai <laughs> to do me. Yeah, that's a part of that is, that's a part of like his job. The here. contract. Uh, yeah. To an end of we the we that's put that in there. Most of my job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it is seventy percent of the work you do. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but we got to keep this little guy happy, so he keeps coming back. Yes, yeah, so. it will be dangerous. <laughs> It'll be dangerous. Um, I was gonna say something before you did all that, and then I forgot. Oh, actually, I do have a fucking pet peeve with coffee shops. <laughs> so, hold on. <laughs> Before I just spoke because it's a podcast. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean um, for it to go out. Wow, wow. How is that any better than me saying? Let's no, transition, the transition the conversation into the next co- yes. topic. See, that's how my brain operates and works. Like it works for me. Um, yeah. Well, before you fucking killed my vibe, but um, I was gonna say that I actually do have a pet peeve with coffee shops turning off their machines like 30 minutes before they close because at that point you're not a fucking coffee shop bitch you're a water stand like why mm. why are your doors still open if i'm yeah. coming in and i'm asking for a latte 30 minutes before you close and it's like oh, we we just turned off our machine 15 minutes ago it's like cool then why are you so they just click the button and turn it back on like <laughs> i'm being dead serious like it's that easy does that have to I'm fucking warm up that's also what i think sometimes I'm like We'll turn it on. Like, it's not fucking 1930. It doesn't yeah. take 18 oh. years for it to heat up. But I think it's because they have to clean the fuck out of the coffee machine so that they, like, don't calcify and get all fucked up. Because even with the one I have, like, sometimes you have to go in there and, like, really oh, scrub yeah. it to work. Because you're supposed to, like, keep it clean because, like, that, like, the little ones, the stove tops get so much calcium buildup in it. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know if it's, like, a chemical reaction from the coffee to the metal and i all think that. it's the lexapro that boils out of the tap water in la i wish yeah. it came out of the tap the water fluoride. I'd, I'd be too lit i've been having the fluoride stare a lot recently <laughs> i think you've always had that kind of <laughs> also um i did like a looks maxing deep dive um oh, what? which it's crazy that, that that became mainstream what does that technically mean is that just like doing everything to make you look L- yeah exactly the best like, like bone smashing and like all that shit like really like mewing so, yeah mewing um but oh cool my it's shirt's crazy. been popped open this whole time uh, it will blur it um it's crazy that um looks maxing and the idea of like bone smashing and all this shit became mainstream in the last like month what is bone smashing? It's literally what it sounds like. It's like going in with like a hammer or an object to like smash your cheekbones and your forehead to like make it regrow and recalcify and become like more prominent because like in these like communities and circles, they think like having like sunken in cheeks and like better, sharper jaw lines and broader foreheads and all that shit are like sexually attractive and it's like it's all the incels like it's all that's why people culture. like love me so much because i have such a strong um jaw mm-hmm. jaw line yeah mm-hmm. exactly that's what exactly. they always say about me they're like um, i wish i could look like you but sorry mine's all natural i just look like this i hate to yeah. bring it to you why are you looking at me well you guys are doing a podcast and i'm the producer so i'll just typically look at you guys while you talk you're done what how isn't it crazy that when this comes out i'll literally be about to get on a plane to go to korea like that's kind of crazy huh that is sick that's what i say when i walk into your room because it stinks with your oyster candle drew has a candle that i genuinely believe smells like an oyster and i don't know why but like the smell of it freaks me the fuck out um it smells like your clam (laughs) that's what i'm saying that's literally what it smells like it smells like i spread your little clam open fucking rubbed it and then rubbed the walls with the i I literally love the way it smells but that's because i like love gash and eating it and like (laughs) (laughs) slaying puss and shit you shouldn't say that gash (laughs) is that what you're saying isn't that what they call it in ireland i have no idea i literally have no idea what's cool is for this episode the only thing i wrote 
down was I'm not meant to see a man's toes. Like, that's the only thing I wrote down. I write down so much every single episode because I love this my job. This smells. I actually love the picture of the the cat laying down between the girl's legs and as she's big, just big belly. belly. I, when I posted that on my story, people were like, bitch, why are your toes out? I'm like, that is not me. Mm. What like this photo that's obviously from 2008. You think I just took that on my iPhone 14 and posted it to my story? Yeah, for real. That's like what? Weird. That is literally weird core as fuck. Um, well, I decided uh, that furries are not bad people and they're very misunderstood and that i am going to explore my furryism one. yeah i'm gonna explore it do people think that furries are bad or is it just I, that they're weird i think it's that they're weird and bad I there's think a, dr- there's like one bad apple story like where furries are like every once in a while one out of a million are like fucking creepy and like nasty and mm-hmm. oh, yeah. weird bestiality shit and they think they're bad but like yeah it is really fucking weird though i'm sorry like it, it is. is weird it really like, it really is do you guys remember that one husky that people were thirsting after on tiktok Dude, yes. yes that's the closest i've gotten to being a furry i think <laughs> i think the there's really cool suits there's really there's like this guy who makes crazy for uh five nights at freddy suits like they're actually fucking insane and it's crazy that he's making them at his home because they look yeah. so fucking good and i did have a point where i was super obsessed and i was like damn i really need to see this in real life but he obviously lives in the middle of nowhere because nobody living in a major city um is doing that kind of shit because like there's things to do outside <laughs> like yeah. if you want to be a furry go back to granberry then it'll just happen naturally i feel yeah like, there's you'll probably just... a community then yeah there anyways i feel like a- any like small town in the middle of america it's literally just like there's nothing else to do it's like fuck it i want to be a dog like <laughs> fuck it we ball i want to be a dog <laughs> fuck it i'm bored as fuck i'm about to be a cat like no not th- just this i saw this in the <laughs> thumbnail <laughs> also i think i have to clarify i don't actually want to be a fucking furry um i hope that just didn't go over everyone's head i don't think anybody who listening to this far into an episode <laughs> genuinely thinks you're gonna be a furry because one you don't leave the house but i did leave the house um yesterday so for to what? go get chick-fil-a i went to go get chick-fil-a yesterday it was like the first time i had left the house on my own in like two days and i was like "Ooh, like i'm gonna get like it was the first time in my life i decided that i was gonna get chick-fil-a it's normally like chick-fil-a like comes to me like other people get it or like i want chick-fil-a i've never actively been like oh i'm gonna go get chick-fil-a um so i was like oh i'm gonna go get it like let's fucking go and i drove all the way there and it was fucking closed um because it was Sunday. Well, maybe that's what you get for even supporting something that's so against what's literally so innate to you. Yeah, I just like, it's internalized at this point. Like, I really am. I just do not like it. But I did listen to, um, uh, <laughs> um, IQ84. Yeah, IQ84. And there was another book I listened to. Um, you listened to the whole book on the way no, to No, I got life. like an hour into one of them. And then, because I left like hella early and I just drove around. And then I got into um, a George Orwell book. I forget what it's called. Yeah. Um, but 1984? Yes, it literally was 1984. Oh, really? Yeah, let me actually look. What do you. I've never listened to an audiobook in my life. I love I can audiobooks. read. We just got to get you those books in your, um, what's the way for dyslexic people when it's like the... Bionic. Yeah, we just got to get you bionic books. Is there a company that makes bionic books? Because that would be lit. A billion like, dollar idea. Yeah. I, oh, I listened to Norwegian Wood by Murakami, uh, 184 uh, Murakami in 1984 um, by Orwell. Not all the way through, but I was just getting bored of each of them <laughs> so when like, you listen to audiobooks do you also use your phone at the same time or do you just mm-hmm. listen i just kind of chill out you sleep you take your 18th nap of the day mm-hmm. actually i haven't been napping recently that's good i haven't been staying up super late so i actually wake up at reasonable times but i agree with my same ideology that someone like me who has full autonomy of what to do with my day shouldn't be waking up so early because there's literally nothing for me to do like mm-hmm. i i just don't need to be alive and awake and cognizant like 
cognitive for that long in my day because then it's like 5 p.m. and I'm actually freaking out because then by the time it gets to like 4 or 5 p.m. I'm like dude I still have a whole day ahead of me and then I like get this weird ramp of energy where I want to do a bunch of stuff but the day is ending and yeah. it's like really confusing for my brain and then I'm like I need to do something I need to do something I need to do something and then it's 9 p.m. and I like have like the adrenaline sweats because I didn't do anything and then I just like knock out because I tucker myself out from thinking about things I should have done with my day or you could wake up early and then nap in the middle of the day <laughs> you like to wake up at 6 a.m Wait. and then take a nap at 11 a.m and <laughs> wake lit. up at one it's lit also josiah pointed out i don't nap on the couch anymore and i don't know if y'all remember oh, yeah. but i accused that couch of having like hella black mold inside of it um and i stopped napping on the couch when i lay down on the couch because normally it would just knock me the fuck out when i sat in my spot um, but the black mold is gone. Like it's out of this house, and I truly believe that it was literally seeping into my system and like putting me to sleep and knocking me out. We gotta get some more on that couch so you actually lay on it. Yeah. But that is not a laying couch. That's a sitting upright, mm. sitting up and watching me play Fortnite. I haven't played Fortnite in a while. It's like a torture couch. <laughs> you hate that couch. <laughs> Drew hates our couch. I love our couch. I don't even think we've showed them our couch. I don't know. I don't think they. Have um, but. There's another thing I wanted to talk about is have you ever actually looked at the moon lander, the moon lander that the thing that landed on the moon, no. it literally looks like it was made out of wooden dowel rods, <laughs> tin foil, and like cloth. Cause that shit wasn't real. That's bro. what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm denying the moon landing, but like, look at that thing. And you're telling me that flew through fucking yeah, outer space and no. landed on the moon. No, like, it this is like when somebody on TikTok is like, I'm going to make remake a Noguchi piece of furniture and like this is what they end up yeah. making also they stole those copper pipes from like another street abandoned lights. building yeah, yeah they like, stole that's it from fucking street lights crazy. it's literally aluminum foil on this bitch this shit's crazy yeah that's not real on the set of that ebay commercial like ad thing I'm in by the time this comes out I think I had to post the reel I made a joke about not believing in the mood landing nobody laughed <laughs> like nobody in that room found that funny yeah because um mark the guy I was with said something he was like he was talking about his the watch that he was recommending for me and he was like he was like this watch could get wet it could go anywhere with you like he was How like he wet? was like uh oh it was the first watch on the i think squirts the watch squirts too no he, no it's like in case you squirt on it watches can't squirt mm. like Weird. They need it's like if that. someone's fingering you with their watch on it that's like, actually you know, like a but... really good idea yeah that's a good way to promote watches to only drake because no, only like drake would hear that and be like squirt. oh that's <laughs> still like something idea. only drake would want <laughs> <laughs> um but he was like it's the first uh watch on the moon and then i was like that's interesting if the moon landing was real um and nobody laughed yeah they were like that's not funny the moon landing is real and then i had to be like i was joking i believe in it but then as i was standing on that <laughs> Me stage talk, saying i wanted to be a furry and no one laughing <laughs> and, and then i was as i was standing on that stage i was like do i believe in the moon landing like i was just told that i've never looked into it like i just believe it because people talk about it a lot like i've literally never it's like very, looked at there's it there's a lot of curious information that it's just like it I'm going to choose to believe it because I want it to be real. So it's real to me. But like, I'm not denying all the weird like um, inconsistencies with the like landing. It's very curious. It's very, very curious. There's Can something you, like zoom into the moon from because, you know, like people have flag. telescopes, like consumer level telescopes. You can like zoom the fuck in on something. Mm hmm. Can you see the flag or like... Well, I just... I literally saw something like literally yesterday. This is what spurred this com or this thought was like someone was like, yeah, but like, why can't I see the flag from the moon? And then someone was like, you literally can just look at it with a telescope. And then another person was like, I can't see it. Why can't you? And I think like it literally just depends on like what side you're on. Like it's Photoshop or they just the, the moon landing and flat earthers have like a counter argument to literally everything you say. Um so like it's oh. just the conversation it is says so you far can't, gone. You can't see it. You can't? No, it's not possible for a telescope to see the flags on the moon. The flags are only 121 centimeters, four feet long and the average home telescope can only see objects larger than one point five kilometers. But I still feel like there's guys on tiktok that like have exactly industrial level telescopes for some reason mm -hmm. and i just like 
like I don't care. Like I I know they go there now, but I'm like this has nothing to do with me. Like this is so they far They actually back. haven't been back. Yeah, I don't think they What is SpaceX not launching shit to the fucking moon every 3 no, weeks? No, they're like testing it so they can launch it on the moon. Okay, then I don't think we've been there cuz like <laughs> bitch if you've been there go back. Like That's 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 literally everyone's argument is like I don't think we've been there because if we've gone there or that they went there and they found something that we weren't supposed to see or that like when we launched into space we hit the fucking firmament there's like a lot of ideas where it's like literally i don't think we've been there because why wouldn't we go back yeah like what just fucking go back crazy that they launched it with something less powerful than my iphone it's like it had like memory of like 128 kilobytes or something which is fucking crazy like That's all like it did was one seconds of this podcast. Yeah, yeah that literally. shit's not real, bro. I don't believe in that shit. But also, my thing is like, I am just perfect candidate for like propaganda because anything the government says, I'm like, oh okay, yeah, right, yeah. No, okay. I was literally like, I literally about like that anything you tell me, unless it has to do with like my moral standings. Yeah, but for the most part. I'm like, okay. I have literally been so easily indoctrinated into like the extremist cult that is like America, like in American science. Like it's fucking crazy. It's so easy. Yeah, I just, but also it's because like, I'm not about to sit here and fucking fight with bitches over the moon landing. The moon has nothing to do with me. The (laughs) only thing the moon has to do with me is sometimes when I walk out of the house, it's a bit brighter than it usually is at night. The only thing I care about is like, it's cute sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's like so slay. And like, that's it. That is Like, like, where me and the moon's connection stops is like sometimes you're slay sometimes you don't exist and then sometimes you follow me around yeah That's the it. moon like also i literally like think this is the cutest thing ever but when like people are always like oh we're like looking at the same sky or looking at the same same moon i'm like oh that's so fucking sweet that's so cute that is we also it's the cover of one of my favorite sunday's album and that's where the moon ends or like remember when it was a full moon and we went to Malibu and swam naked. Yeah, like, like that. That's when the moon matters the most. Yeah, because that's when it's like giving us light and it's like nice. But bitch, I don't have to go there. Like what? Wait, I can you just guys like are see- naked. Oh my god, that's there's all you photos heard? of it too. What? Hmm. That's. Do you want me to show you me? I would actually love to see that. Yeah. Yeah, we got a flash photo of Drew's balls in the ocean. <laughs> I was like diving in and you can see them through the thighs like from behind. Oh, no! And the fact that you can see a man's balls from, from, from the behind, back is so they're like, disgusting. You like clapped them in for yeah, a second? Yeah, exactly. Damn. That is fucking disgusting. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the moon landing may or may not be real. We'll let you decide. Dude, I gave you no information. it's probably fucking real, but I'm looking this shit up and people are like, well, why can't I, why can't the Hubble Space Telescope that can see galaxies a hundred light years away not see the flag on the moon? It's curious, like, bitch, because that shit flew away. <laughs> that shit's no, there's that's the other thing. Eight million years old. No, like, there's another thing. Since it's a there's no atmosphere and there's no vacuum and there's no bacteria and there's nothing to de- degenerate it. Like there is no reason it shouldn't be there and still be in the exact same position we left it in. And there was an argument that like it was all fake and done on a set because when they were erecting the flag, there was like waves in it, which is created by like movement in the atmosphere, like wind or something. And there's no way for that to happen in, on the moon. But if someone's moving something around, there not there a chance that like the vibration from you that's, like stabbing it in can kind of like move it? That's the argument. The in the other argument. direction and then they're like well i recreated it to a t and like they just argue back well, and forth isn't and it's it so fucking funny stupid that... wait when was the moon landing like the 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 it's moon like landing 1964 like or some shit like or something what like what year did 2001 space odyssey come out because why did they just reuse the fucking set like yeah. that's that's another <laughs> they argument just reused the that's set. literally another argument they're like look at um 2001 space odyssey like it looks like we're in space but it was all filmed here like if they can do that if Stanley Kubrick can do that, then they could have done this 10 years before with, like, government technology. Yeah, we're good. Like, that shit's not real. But that's okay. Who fucking cares? Like, literally what? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Exactly. Yeah, I think the other one is, like, they did go, but they didn't record it. So they, like, did a fake recreation mm. because it was just, like, a whole fucking arms that's race. the other thing is how the fuck did they live stream back in 1960 whatever? Like, that's fucking crazy that they were filming on the moon like no no it doesn't make sense make <laughs> no. that make sense 
I think yeah, about also, that. Yeah, also, like, wait, where's all the light coming from? Because the lighting on that was gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It is really weird. You know how bad the quality of a phone call is? Yeah. Yeah. Like, why Why were we streaming? Yeah, were they, cla- wait, were they the claiming moon? it was live streamed? I don't yes. know. I don't know. Yes. Really? Yes. They were, I mean, in the rocket launch, they were talking back and forth the entire way. Insane. Also, what was it? A thirty-minute check, or were bitches at the TV for like four hours? It's like a forty-day thing, I think. I'm actually gonna look that 40 up. Forty days <laughs> to <laughs> get to the moon, bitch. Suck my fucking balls. I'm not going to the moon. Forty days, <laughs> bitch. That's forty days and forty nights to get to uh, some dirt. For what? Uh. F- oh wait. <laughs> Um, four days and six hours and oh, forty-five okay. minutes. Forty days. This is crazy. I think that's like to get to Mars or some shit. Four days still I think though. To get to Mars, it's like nine Bitch, months. that's why they're not going back. Nobody wants to be gone for four days because now so much stuff happens on your iPhone. You can't miss yes, four days worth of iPhone use. Yeah, no, that ass. Like, well, no, I'll be fine. Like, put me on that fucking airplane. I'll just like do what I do in my bed and just like literally. Do get you on my get phone. Wi-Fi on the spaceship? Now? I bet they could figure it out. Yeah, they could figure that out. Yeah. Also, what's crazy is we've launched that, like, golden wheel into the world that's, like, supposed to, like, aliens are supposed to find it and, like... Oh, it has the diagram of, like, a human body and stuff. Exactly. It's supposed to... They're supposed to see it and be like, wait, this is, like, not made by... Earth see that's when science is going but, too far because yeah. it's like bitch you are so bored like but, that's the most little scientist. kid shit ever like i'm gonna it's throw a rock cr- no. in space with some stuff all over it and hope someone finds it and can read it <laughs> bitch they cannot read what we are reading like but, i mean if they find it they might be advanced enough to read it but the crazy know, thing like, is is it's so outdated at this point like it does not represent us as humans at all anymore and like the song that they used on it was like they put hell- a song on that yes. bitch, so they threw a mixtape into space, no, hoping an alien would find it. Why and be did like, Brian Damn. Inu make the Brian did Eno, he n- not the song, but he made the album for the first like launch, like an Apollo eighteen launch? Is that real? Yes. It, Damn, or, he's too lit for that. I, not maybe not Brian Inu, uh, but one of those ambient bitches, Harold Bud. Um, no, this uh, album was made for. Um, oh, what? Made for like Apollo something. Damn. Yeah. Which is kind of, like, that's, like, next level. They got to get Jeremy Scott to do them stupid-ass, silly astronaut outfits. Why don't they, like, make more sleigh outfits? The the fits now astronauts. are fucking lit. The fits now are lit. But the suits, like, we can move past that. No, that's what I'm saying. The suits are lit. I like, they're, like, up. skinny and tailored and, like, cool. Like, her. Like, <laughs> oh, come on, oh. The fuck is this picture, um, bro? That I okay. So what we're learning today is I don't believe in the moon landing because that shit's not real, bro. Yeah, try to con- literally try to convince me that it's real and I'll believe it. But no, I'm like I'm choosing to believe it. I'm like I I want it to be real so bad. But like the more information that comes out about it, I'm like hmm. hmm. Yeah, I just don't think it's real because like go back, go back, challenge, literally go back. Yeah. And you but. don't want to because you've never been. That's literally me when I lie. I'm like, well, I just can't do it again. I'm so tired. <laughs> the it new just, like, suits are like boot cut. <laughs> yeah. They're they're a Miri and fucking uh, true yeah. religion. Imagine if Drake did the song for Apollo 69 <laughs> and then they had boot cut a Miri song. Yeah. The moon. That'd, That'd be, be too lit. Like, they should get Chrome Hearts to do since they love their silver. They should get a Chrome Hearts shuttle to take them. That would be fire. Ultimate capitalism ultimate world destruction it's like let's just make something that's so unneeded for this universe so we can escape it and cause the pollution okay it would be lit to post this on the gram like yeah back when i was on the moon (laughs) did you know you can go to space now like that's what i'm saying though like can we like and also i don't want to like there's nothing to see there like i would spend the money to go there's no vintage shops on the moon there's no vintage if they can make a, a a shuttle big enough with a mini mall in it then i'll go uh, then I literally would go. I mean, sooner than later, we're going to have like camps on Mars and shit. I don't think we're going to be alive for that. No, it's it's supposed to happen like by 2030. I, think. I say that, but then I see the new cars and I was saying to Drew the other day, like I'm literally watching the future unfold. Like, the the Ionic 5 Hyundais, like look them up, Kai. <laughs> like, They're we're crazy. literally watching like the Jetsons, like future 
unfold in front of us and it's starting with like the new prius yeah like, it's like, like iridescent dude, paint the new and prius looks sick it's yeah. crazy like they like all the new cars are actually starting to look fucking crazy um and now i know what like old people feel like when they see the world change and they're freaking out because i'm like it's nothing's changing but then i see somebody's hyundai in their driveway and i'm like whoa what the fuck is that like like it's they literally look like the tanks future almost like yeah like no no but right. those, all those batteries are gonna explode, and then we're gonna. That's when we're gonna see the yeah, end of times. When all the cars start exploding created with child labor. Yeah, and they're the batteries are gonna start exploding and like fucking erupting. Um, and the data they're collecting from us from our new electric cars are gonna literally like be used to hunt us down and kill us. Because yeah. uh, you can't is, run away. Literally, like you literally can't run away. Um, this is the last thing I want to add to the conversation before we move on to media, but straight men stop using marlboro cigarette packaging and logo design as your medium for art challenge for your impossible shitty fucking brand literally that you're do starting. you remember at the chateau when we were all sitting in a circle with you know who and he started going on the spiel about how he wanted to like create like this massive piece of artwork with cigarette oh packages my God, and yes. he was like i want to make like a skull out of marlboro packs and like he started like doing it oh, in it was so bad he was also crazy he is yeah. fucking insane like actually a dangerous person so gross like writing the kind of poetry that was like i can taste your sweat i would taste your blood if yeah. i could i love you so making much. pinterest boards that never mind. we won't get into that um but he's the killer and he it's yeah, he's a scary <laughs> act. Is the killer, and I don't care to say his name because you know? he is the killer. I okay, I was care. gonna say yeah. No, he's... he is literally the killer, and he is fucking weird. And like, he is literally what happens when you don't get casted in the Fault in Our Stars, but you really wanted to be. Yeah, that's what it feels like. <laughs> like, that's what happens when you get the second round to self taping for <laughs> Fault in Our Stars, but you just don't make it. The Vault in Our Stars eight though. No, that, that movie, movie fucking eight. A. That, that movie, movie was... was literally the house. <laughs> like, Oh, that, that, so that's how you use it. Mm. That movie was a house. Okay. Oh, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah. All right. Now on to media. Media, media of, of the week. week. Did you see that Zamora's fucking car got stolen? No, it didn't. Yeah, he got it back, but somebody stole his car in like the middle of the night. <gasps> I'm literally calling him. I Guys, we're you. missing the Met Gala right now. Fuck. Guys, can we wrap this up? I have to go walk the carpet of the mat. Yeah, we recorded. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. You just got fucking dissed, bitch. Whoa. How humiliating. Did you see that, Kai? Yeah, you got body. Whoa. Um. Okay, media of the week is The Zenith by Starflyer59, Silly by Denise Williams, Riot by Hugh Masekila, um arrow through me by wings and then fun fact that is the song that erica badu sampled for gone baby don't be long um and yeah that's it that's all i'm gonna fucking give you actually i don't love you anymore I as I uh, that's it yeah that's all i'm giving you i'm gonna Never give you um Stone by sweet exorcist um kid for today boards of canada stereo lab mix uh listen to a warm place by nine inch nails um and stolen documents the future sound of london um my god then, guys we did it we recorded our first ever episode of a podcast i know wow that was actually amazing it went really smooth yeah it went like way smoother than yeah. i would have ever thought um but except for me saying trend zition I hope you liked this Wait, episode of this podcast. Uh, Anthony Fantano. Oh. oh, yeah. I hate him. The day music died. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what the think fuck the, is your any... fucking thumbnail for this Paris video, bitch? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking insane. <laughs> you should see the raw <laughs> thumbnail. And I was going to do it, but I was like, I'm not doing that to India. That is insane. I, this, I'm not kidding. This is unedited. And I was like, I'm going to do this. But then I was like, no, I'm going to edit it and make it like funnier. Uh, that's fucked up. Dude, I look really fucked up on camera all the time. It's crazy. I swear I genuinely think I look better in person. Like, and I believe that 
wholeheartedly on camera i look fucked up and scary and disgusting mm. that's if you need to tell yourself that like go ahead oh wait zamar's answering well i actually am about to shit myself Hello? so i'm gonna walk away thank you guys so much for listening did your car actually get stolen <laughs>